Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I have another great recipe I want to share with y'all. This one is actually one that has stuck with me since I was 15 years old. Ever since I started following Laura in the Kitchen on YouTube, I have been uh, creating different things with this recipe. So what I want to love to share with you guys is actually a chocolate chip cookie recipe as well as my my version of it which is a Nutella stuffed chocolate chip cookie. And I hope that gets you excited to bake this in the kitchen just as much as it did when I was, you know, learning the ins and outs of how to bake these things. So grab a pen, grab a paper, make sure that you write this down. I'm going to share the recipe with you and I'll show you step by step how to get this cookie uh, made. And it's going to be so delicious. Can't wait to get this started. So make sure that you preheat the oven to 350 and let's get baking. All right, so here's everything that we need. Wait, we're missing one thing. All right, so two cups of flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and that's all of the dry ingredients. So let's go ahead and move on to the wet ingredients. So first thing is one cup of brown sugar, half cup of sugar, all right, and next is one and a half sticks of melted butter. So what I like to do is actually blend the sugars with the melted butter just to make it incorporate a lot easier once you do incorporate the wet with the dry ingredients. As you can see, I do have a stand mixer, so I let it mix for about two minutes. If you have a whisk, I would suggest whisking until you see the butter mixed with the sugars. It looks like a wet sand consistency. That's what you're looking for. All right, next we're gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, can't forget those eggs. Make sure they are at room temperature. So let's go ahead and add the eggs up in there. Now what you wanna do is actually mix it really well until you cannot see the egg yolks. Okay, so next what you want to do is incorporate the wet ingredients that you have in the bowl with the dry ingredients. So go ahead and throw the dry ingredients into the bowl and make sure that you, if you have a stand mixer, that you start very low or else you'll look like you're in the set of Scarface. I had to learn the hard way when I first started baking these cookies. It's a lot of fun, but it's a huge mess. Anyways. Make sure that you incorporate the ingredients really well. So what you're looking for is actually no specks of sugar. And you also have to make sure that you're stopping the mixture every once in a while. If you have the stand mixer, you want to scrape down the sides. You want to get all that sugar. The more sugar, the happier you are. Right? So make sure you get all of it. All right, moving on to the next step. After you mix everything together, you will notice when the batter is ready if you feel resistance if you're whisking it or if you see your stand mixer resisting. Now, what you wanna do next is actually add half a cup of chocolate chips. I like to use semi-sweet just because of the flavor, but the choice is yours. They also do, the cookies also do taste really good with M&Ms. If you're feeling a little wild and making it your own, I suggest m and M's. I've also tried out Hershey's Kisses, or yeah, Hershey's Kisses, as well as Hershey's Bars. So with the bars, I would just chop it up and then throw it in the batter. This is what it should look like. Mm. Now, before I move on, make sure that you throw your cookie batter into the freezer for at least 30 minutes. Now, what I'm doing next is lining my cookie sheet with butter. That way the parchment paper that I lay on top of it does not move around while the cookies are baking. All right, so you're going to want to grab your Nutella and then I'm going to use half a teaspoon for each coin of Nutella that I am going to freeze. 
So as you can see, I'm just lining them up here into six pieces because we're going to make six cookies and then I'm going to throw them in the freezer for a minute. Well, not a minute, just a few minutes and then they come out frozen. Next, what you want to do is actually grab your batter that was sitting in the freezer for about 30 minutes and get your cookies ready for baking. So I actually am going to use a personal method that I created way way back in the day now i use two spoons and basically what i do is i scoop the batter with one um, spoon here as you can see and then with the second spoon i pretty much just try to create the best ball possible and once you're done you want to just place it on the top of the parchment paper and make a little divot down the middle Make sure that you're also spacing out the cookies enough apart so they, you know, you don't get a big single looking cookie. All right. And next, what you want to do is actually throw these cookies inside of the freezer and bring out the chocolate coins that we threw inside the freezer earlier, the Nutella. So with those divots, what you want to do is actually throw the coin right down the middle and it should, the cookie batter should hug it perfectly. And then what you want to do is with the second spoon, make sure that you try to, you know, make it into a really big, big circle. They're going to look like crumble cookies in a way, uh, cause they will come out a little big. Now, as you can see here, I'm actually scooping it up over and over again, the batter, so I can make a nice cap. And then I'm going to pick that batter up once I cap it off and make a big ball out of it and then flatten it out and throw it back onto the cookie sheet. So you just want to keep repeating this process until you have all six cookies done and ready to bake. And just like that, they are good to go. Let's put these bad boys inside of the oven, bake them, rotate them, and get ready to eat them in about seven to 12 minutes. Okay, so we're at about the halfway point of baking. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you rotate your cookies so they bake evenly on each side. So simply just take it out and make sure that you're moving quick because you don't want all that heat from the oven to get out. Rotate them bad boys around and then throw them back in there for another seven minutes. Hey, you made it this far. Thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know the cookies are ready when they are golden brown around the sides. So throw them on a cookie sheet, have them cool off for about 10 minutes, and enjoy.